Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another vlog. This time we are going to deal with another tutorial. We are going to learn about Microsoft SQL or MS SQL. To be specific, we are going to learn about the tool called SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. To start with, you need to know that you need to download two different softwares for this one. Anyway, the softwares are for free so we don't need to worry about it anymore. So first, we're going to pull out our Chrome browser. I'm just going to use one of my accounts here. This time, I'm going to search for MSSQL download. So I'm going to open this one in new tab and this link right here in another tab as well. So I can close that. So this time, I'm going to scroll down and click this button right here so what I'm doing right now guys is I'm trying to download the software since I've already downloaded the software and installed it in my PC so this is how it's going to look like first I'm going to click on the start menu and type in SQL and this is the tool that I have just installed it's very easy to install especially you're just going to click on next next until you're going to finish everything for now we're not going to deal with this since this is just an engine that makes our SQL server management studio run so this time we are going to use or download this software right here so I've already downloaded the software so if you're going to search it from the start menu you can see something like this Okay, so this is the environment of Microsoft SQL Management or SQL Server Management Studio. You can choose from the server type, but for now, we are just going to stick with the basics. So for the server name, this is a local server, which is the name of my laptop. So if you wish to choose a different database engine, you can choose it from here. But for now, again, we're going to use the basics. So we're not going to deal with the authentication just click on connect once you're connected you are going to see something like this the databases that are installed in your server and everything else now if you wish to create a new database you can just simply right click here click on new database and type the database name now if you think that this tutorial is quite fast you can always pause it a little bit then proceed okay so i just click ok and this is the new database that i've created up next is i'm going to delete it by simply right clicking on that icon and press delete there you go now if you want to create a database using a particular query or using of course some sort of coding technique all you need to do is just to click on new query then type these lines of code right here so create database then i'm going to use sample db as the database name click on execute and voila there you go we're done so if it's not yet shown in here you can just right click refresh so that's the database name that we have just created if you wish to create a new table in here all you need to do is just to click on new query I just closed the previous tab or maybe we can just create or delete this database I'm sorry so just type in drop database just click on execute and we're done again if it is not yet reflected you can just press refresh or click refresh there you go up next is create a new query this time we're going to create a new database using a query query mode i'm going to name this one as music db or music database something like that you can choose whatever database that you like for me i'm going to choose that one now under our databases folder you will be able to see that music db is already there this time i'm going to use music db 
as my reference database by typing in use music db however if you can see it on the drop down area in here you can just simply click on that one and automatically uh, music db database will be used okay it's the same thing as typing it on the query box or just the drop down option next is we are going to create a new table so just type in create table then I'm going to name this table as artists I'm going to populate the fields of our table so let's say I'm going to create the first column for the field artist ID and its properties artist name and let's say active from or the year that they are active if you are going to run the execution upon seeing it in here expanding the tables area and you will be able to see the name of the new table which is artist table there you go the columns are also in there you can retract this back now let's say if I'm going to add a couple more tables on our database I'm just going to type in albums and let's make this one fast same thing I need to provide the specifics of the fields that I'm trying to create I'm going to create another table the name of this table is genre table there you go now if I'm going to execute this one notice that there's an error in here it's because the first set of codes on the topmost is already existing okay so it's the name artist table since I've already executed the first one a while ago so I'm just going to highlight all of them delete then execute it again there you go okay again if it's quite fast you can always pause it you can always re replay it that's the good thing with YouTube tutorials there if it is not yet reflecting on our database area we can always right click and click on refresh then check on the tables area there we go it's there up next guys is we are going to learn about retrieving okay let us try to retrieve a couple more lines or a couple of fields on our database or in our table so let's say if I'm going to retrieve the fields that I have used on all the tables on music database I'm just going to type these lines of codes In general you are going to see all of the fields that we have used in three different tables okay now up next is we are going to use the same the same set of codes but this time we are going to be specific per table so let's say for example I'm just going to add this one where then of course the table name and what's the name of the table that I wish to look for the fields let's say artist table so by the time I'm going to hit on execute same thing with the general table and of course the albums table there you go again those are the basic commands that we can use in SQL server management studio <laughs>